Hi friends, this is Gurvinder Singh and you are watching my YouTube channel Angry Science. Today we will discuss the pump and its working. The pump is a device which is used to impart a kinetic energy into the fluid so that the liquid can move from one place to the another place. There are two types of pump. One is positive displacement pump and another one is rotodynamic pump. Positive displacement is pump is dead pump in which the working principle is the changing of volume. The positive displacement pump does not require priming and the various positive displacement pump are reciprocating pump, gear pump and screw pump. Next is rotodynamic pump. Rotodynamic pump are those pumps which work on the principle of centrifugal force. The kinetic energy into the fluid is imparted by centrifugal force. The centrifugal, uh, the rotodynamic pump are generally centrifugal pump, and that pump requires priming. Priming means the need to fill the suction pipeline and the casing of the pump. Now, I will discuss the working of pump with the help of reciprocating pump. First of all, I want to explain the various parts of pump. So, this is the discharge valve, which is connected on the discharge side. The second is discharge pipe and third one is reciprocating pump which is having a piston which is having a piston and discharge and suction valve. Then on the other side we have a pressure relief valve that relieves the extra pressure from the discharge side to the suction side. Then suction pipe and tank from where the pump takes suction. So first of all we know how the liquid flow from inside the pipe. For example, if we have a pressure, we have a pipe which is having a pressure P1 and P2 and it at its end. So if P1 is equal to P2, then, then the no liquid will, will flowing from one place to another place. If P1 is greater than P2, then liquid start moving from P1 to the towards the P2. Now if P2 is greater than P1 then the liquid start moving from P to the P1 so this show that the fluid is always moving from high pressure to the low pressure side now I want to explain what is atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is that pressure which is acting everywhere on earth and it is acting because of the mass of the air so its value is normally 1 bar so now I will explain what is the working of pump. The working of pump is, is, is in two sections. One is the pump suck water from tank to the casing and another one the pump will push the water from casing to the, to the discharge pipe. Now I will explain how the pump will suck water from the tank to the casing. Now we consider three pressure points. One is acting on the tank. one is acting on the pump and one is acting on the discharge side this all pressures are equals when the pump is not running and this pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure and the atmospheric pressure is equal to 1 bar now i will explain what will happen when this piston is moving backward inside the inside the inside the casing of pump what will happen the volume inside the pump is increasing zone volume increase means the pressure p2 decrease Pre this this explains us why the voile's law voile's law states that the pressure is inversely proportional to the volume so if the volume increase then pressure will decrease now here the volume increases so p2 pressure is decreased P2 pressure decrease means its value is reduced from 1 bar to maybe 0.6 bar, 0.5 bar. So due to this, what will happen here? The vacuum will created. So the liquid start moving from high pressure to the low pressure. So liquid start moving upward and it will fill the casing. It, the suction valve lift up and it will. 
will feel like acid. Now the piston start moving in forward direction. So what will happen? Now when the piston moving forward, the volume start reducing. Then when volume reduce, so what will happen? The pressure will increase. Now volume reduce, while still state, then pressure increases. Now pressure increase. Then this pressure increase more than one bar, maybe 1.5 bar, 2 bar. It depend upon the construction and design of the pump and also on the type of the pump. Now this P2 is greater than P1 and P3. Now fluid can move to the P3 and P2 direction, but the suction valve does not allow the fluid inside the casing or the liquid inside the casing to move towards the tank. So what will happen? The discharge valve will open and the P2 is greater than P3. So the fluid starts moving towards the discharge side and it is going out. Now, now we understand how then in again in next stroke the piston is moving backward and again the pump is sucking water and again it push the water to the discharge side pump will uh, provide a kinetic energy to the fluid and then this kinetic energy is converted into the pressure and it is help to move the fluid or liquid from one place to the another place for example if our discharge valve is closed now so our pump is continuous running so what will happen it will continuously increasing the pressure inside the pipe and there is a chance of bursting of pipe or the bursting of uh, casing for that we have a pressure relief valve so if the pressure increase the working pressure this pressure relief valve lift up and it will circulate the water back to the suction side and in this way the pump is continuous circulating the water in the from the discharge side to the suction side and it no water is flowing out when we open this valve then the water again start moving outside from here this is the working principle of pump hope you like this video thanks